Hi guys, here we are, another rainy woody, which is very exciting here in the north woods of Central Park in the epicenter. Dun, dun, dun. I gotta get better music. But uh, I waddled out here to do the woody. Here's the thing. If I don't stop eating like this, I'm going to be the size of a cruise ship, which will entitle me to government money. So yeah, see every cloud has a silver lining. Uh, and is it beautiful out here today? Fewer people again. Uh, here's another silver lining. When crisis hits uh, at a time like this, it's, it brings everybody together. And that's how I know that today we are all thinking the same thing. What should I wear to church on Easter Sunday? Now, me, um, I'm kind of thinking bunny ears and an N95 mask. I don't know. I mean, do you think that's too casual? More of an Easter bonnet? In your Easter bonnet with the COVID on it. I mean, that's something to consider. But it's such a wonderful uh, family holiday. I, I, you know, I'm going to uh, organize a little respirator hunt in the backyard for the kids. I think that's going to be great. And, uh, you know, we're all going to cluster together in the, the churches, fill the churches. So, you know, that'll be like boxcars going to Auschwitz. So, I mean, <clears throat> that's always good but you know being in, in church it's, it's going to make us all feel closer to God possibly a little sooner than we wanted to you know excuse me God sorry for dropping in unannounced I brought you a bundt cake that's so, you know as soon as I said God the, the sun started to peep out so I think that's some kind of a of a of a message but, oh here's that you know what the uh the first time I went to uh or saw Catholic communion, I almost upchucked. Um, I, I, do you know? Do you know what they do? Because I, uh, my family was uh, was Baptist. So not that I've been for 55 years, but it's good. Uh, so what they used to do then for communion is they would go up and down the aisles and they would give everybody a little piece of Wonder Bread and an individual size glass of grape juice. Um, and uh, that would uh, would be grape juice and not wine because you know wine is the devil's do. <laughs> so you know, me and the devil are like this. Not really, because I hate politics. But anyway, um, uh, for the Catholics, uh, in uh, what they do is, well, first they give you the, the host, which is, you know, a, a cracker. I mean, a very holy cracker and a very important cracker. I don't, but it's still, it has the earthly feeling of a cracker. I'm letting that go. Um, it has the earthly feeling of a cracker. But for the blood of Christ, everybody drinks out of the same cup. I swear to God, they, the, the, the priest just used a little napkin to spread the flu germs around. And, and then, and this is where I really did have a dry heave. I'm not kidding, an actual dry heave. After everyone in the congregation has spit in the cup, the priest takes the rest of it back like a shot. Oh my God, I swear, I all, well, uh, so this is why I don't think I can become a uh, Catholic, uh, you know, uh, and, and I know some of you are going, what is she even talking about? Because if you listen to me on the radio, you remember me being an atheist. And I was an atheist for 61 years. And then uh, it was after radio and something happened. And, um, you know, I'll tell you about that on the uh, Absinthe Live, because it's too long of a story for now. Um, and Absinthe Live this Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I did the math. Well, in other words, I looked it up. So that's uh, 6 o'clock Central Time. That's 5 o'clock Mountain Time. That's 4 o'clock in L.A. So you're just going to have to be a bunch of souses and drink early. Because I'm going to drink Absinthe. You can drink, you can drink tea if you want to. But, you know, uh, it's on your own. You're going to uh, bring your own. Uh, so um, I've got other good news. Uh, I read... Uh, that it was on CNN this morning that ab, uh, that airplanes are going to be uh, eliminating food, which I think it's hysterical that they call that slot food because that is not food, honestly. I mean, if you eat that stuff, every time I always get it, I open it up, I go, oh God, um, and then I cover it up and wait for them to come and um, take it off and make my hat look funny uh, and wait for them to take it away. So that is not food. Anyway. Um, and something happens to me every time I fly. I think I'm never going to see food again. That is the day of the year. I eat more than, than I do now during the COVID crisis. Uh, and the Liebensap Schitzkafarte has a membership to the airport lounge. So I go in there. By the time I'm on the plane, I am four pounds uh, uh, fatter and three sheets to the wind because I'm convinced I'm never going to see food again. And I'm not because it's airplane food. Uh, and they're also eliminating the middle seat, which... Uh, 
See, I like the idea of actually eliminating, taking that fucker out so I'm never gonna be stuck with it as soon as I can fly again. But what I think they mean, they're not gonna put anyone in there. Although, because uh, they wanna create distance. But I don't know what plane you're on where the middle seat is six feet wide. Because me, when I have uh, stuck in that seat, it's actually, I'm pretty sure it's nine and a half inches uh, long and I have a very large shoehorn that I bring to try to get my ass down in it. So I'm, I'm not sure that it's quite as exciting as it, uh, as it sounds. But, you know, it seems, it seems weird to me that anyone is still flying. But I think it's because I am here in the epicenter, dun -dun -dun, uh, and it's hard to realize that there are parts of the country where life is still going on just as, as normal, but it's, it's, it's not normal here. On, on the uh, press uh, uh, briefing with my boyfriend, this morning they were showing lines outside uh, hospital emergency rooms waiting to get in. So, you know, uh, it's a little bit, uh, not that I'm volunteering to die. Thank you, Mr. Texas governor or whoever, you, no, he's a Texas lieutenant, whoever he is. I don't, who the hell is he talking to? Which, which, please tell me, which old people are going, me, take me, I'm ready. I'm no, no, I'm not ready. I wanna be very clear about that. I am not volunteering. I am, however, volunteering uh, for vampires. If anyone knows, I've been looking for this for years, if anyone knows a vampire that wants to come and suck the blood out of my neck and turn me into a vampire, I am so in. You know, and I've said this before, and then the naysayers uh, will go, oh, Jeanette, you don't wanna be a vampire because then you'll have to drink other people's blood. Grow up, suck it up, grow a hairy one. I will suck other people's blood, I'll be happy to do that. Um, and I'll get all the horrible people. That's what I'll do it, like the, like the TV vampires. I'll do it the right way. You know, Washington will be empty. So uh, if you know a vampire, by all means, uh, send it to me. Because I, I don't know of any old people. I think he's full of crap, you know. Seppuku for grandma. Um, do you know what seppuku is? It's uh, the female version of Harakiri. I got that from Shogun. Remember that book? It was a long time ago. Um, and then there was a movie with uh, Richard Chamberlain, who used to be Dr. Kildare. That is how old I am, and I am not volunteering to die. Um, Shogun was a really good, it, was, it happened in Japan. It was very, and, and uh, way long, 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 hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And they tortured people. And you know how they did it? They boiled them in a big pot. Uh, now, for me, what I do, um, I put in onions first and I kind of saute them for a while and then I add in celery and uh, once that's cooked a bit, I put in the stock, which I've made myself, clearly, um, and then uh, I throw in parsnips because I'm not using potatoes. And then I throw in the meat and then uh, I went to the very end and put in the carrots so they're still a little crunchy. I, I normally use chicken, but it would, it would work just as well. So. I think that's a good idea uh, for everyone. And I read a book one time about Ivan the Terrible and they had uh, a big torture fair out in the square. Maybe it was red square. I don't know what color the square was in those days. Um, and they fried people, which first of all gave me nightmares for years. But second of all, for that, I'm gonna suggest a high quality um, olive oil, even though it does burn a little bit, but whatever. Um, and then you sear one side, you turn it over, uh, and, uh, oh, and just salt and pepper at first, turn it over and stick it in the oven. If you put lemon on it, then it's Pete's chicken. But I usually just stick it there because I usually use chicken for this one too. But again, it's a recipe that will work well for the Lieutenant Governor of Texas. And, you know, I am here, I am here to help people. So, you know, I'm glad I was able to serve. I think that's uh, incredibly important. Uh, did you see Chip Coffee uh, posted a video? He's got a picture of me buttoning up my crotch. That sounds wrong, but uh, Chip, if you find that picture and post it, you won't have to worry about COVID, but do send it to me. It was really good to see you. Um, I'll write later. Uh, I wanna uh, announce uh, new titles. We have new titles. Uh, we have Joan Meyer Christie it wants to be my arm flap friend. You got it, baby. If you want a title here on the Woody, just call it. You call it, whoever calls it first has the title. Uh, Lou Klinger Madden, you have called one. I don't think a lot of people are gonna call this one. She's, uh, her uh, Woody title is Loogie. <laughs> And I know I'm on to you. See, I'm, it's, it's, you really, I am so intuitive. You just want me to think of you every single time I clear my throat. And I promise that I will. So, okay. Um, Absinthe Live on uh, Friday. Uh, if you have questions, if there's anything you can think of, uh, Lori Close wants the um, uh, story of the peas. I'll tell that one there. But if there's anything you want me to talk about, uh, just put it in comments uh, for Friday night, 7 uh, Eastern time. And until then, uh, I'm going to get my umbrella because I'm getting a little soggy. And uh, I will see you tomorrow on the Woody. If you like it, share it.